Hi everyone, this is Omega from Fashion Adjacent once more. Um, in the last few days on the blog, I posted some pictures of um, a character from the new BBC Sherlock series. Um, those of you who have been watching the show would have uh, enjoyed the first episode of the new season, I know I did, and in it there was an amazing character, um, their reboot of Irene Adler, who's a classic Sherlock Holmes character, but in the modern BBC version they made her into a dominatrix um, called The Woman, that was her professional name, um, and she had the most amazing makeup. So I thought uh, I might try to recreate it for you. I'm certainly uh, no Lara Pulver, but uh, I will can show you the colours and the products that you would need to recreate this look for yourself. Now what I've done is I've put on my makeup base. I've used my uh, Ila Masqua foundation for this. Now what you will want to go for with this um, is a pale look. Think England, peaches and cream, raining every day, never see the sun. If you own any bronzer, put it away. You're not going to need it for this look. All I've done is put on a pale base and I've also put on some cream blush from Lime Lily. Um, this colour is called Naked, which is uh, very appropriate for this look. Um, if you've seen the show, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you have not yet seen the show, you should probably shut this window now because I'm going to spoil the heck out of you. Uh, go watch it, enjoy it, and then come back for the tutorial. Uh, those of you who are still with me, um, I will start applying some colour. I'm going to start with the eyes. Now there's a reference picture. Um, that somebody dug up from somewhere um, that's got a really great shot of uh, one of her signature looks. So I'm going to pause the video now and hopefully with a little bit of uh, computer magic I'll be able to put that up on screen so you can have a look at it. Alright, all going well, you will have now seen the reference shot. Um, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I've done one eye already and now I'm going to show you how to duplicate that over this side. Now if you have a look at the picture you'll see that what she's wearing is a very uh, neutral grey palette. So that's what I'm going to be using to put this together. I'm going to start with a layer from my Lime Lily palette um, and they have a beautiful matte uh, grey colour that I will use for the first layer. So I'll just lay that on my eye now. So what I'm going to do is lay it quite heavily down here on my eyelid and then make it very light up under my um, brow. So a graduated uh, colour with more grey down here and less up here so that you get a much subtler look for your highlight. So there's a layer of that down. Uh, then I'm going to do my contouring. Um, and I'm going to use my Too Faced Smoky Eye Palette. They have a great set of colours in this called Classic Smoke. Um, and if you wanted to put this look together from just one palette, you could probably do it with these colours. The reason I haven't uh, chosen all of them is because uh, these colours are very beautiful and they have a beautiful shimmer in them. But uh, from what you can see on the TV show, um, you'll be wanting a, a more... Uh, matte look. It doesn't look like uh, the eyeshadow she's wearing has a lot of shimmer in it so I have uh, not used the shimmery colours in this but I am going to use their matte black which is this one over here. So what I'm going to do with that is just lay a bit of contouring down so just in the corner of my eye and then across my brow bone. So in order to get that in exactly the right place I'm actually pushing my finger in a little bit till I can actually feel uh, the brow bone of my skull um, and then I know that I've got it in just the right place. That's what's right for my shape of eye, yours might be different, um, you know your eye better than I do so I'm sure you'll be able to put it in the right place for you. So I've just put a bit of uh, shadow down there, now as you can see that's looking uh, quite a bit darker than this one. Um, and that's because the third and final step uh, is to lay another layer of the light grey over the top. So that's what I will do now. Um, just checking this side, you can see it goes light here, a little bit darker, 
darker in the brow and then light again up here. So another layer of grey down to just ease that shadow out, lighten it up a little bit. And there we have it. So that's my eyeshadow done. Um, of course that is not the end of this look. One thing you will notice is she has a rather spectacular splash of bright blue eyeliner. Now I happen to own a bright blue eyeliner. If you don't have a specialist product like this, you can probably get the look if you have a bright blue eyeshadow um, and a nice fine brush. Um, but I have this uh, Gosh Extreme Art Eyeliner uh, in Sky Blue that I picked up not so long ago. So I'm gonna lay a line of that down. Now, on the pictures, you can see that she really hasn't gone with much of a cat's eye. It's just a straight line of liner right across her eye, and there's not much of a kick up at the end. In fact, it doesn't really sweep out beyond her eye very far at all. So I'm just going to keep it straight and only take it out a little bit. So there's that flash of blue. I'll just put it on my other eye. Using a webcam as a mirror is really not the best thing in the world. I'm still working on my tutorial setup. So uh, yeah, in future, I'll probably have a better mirror. All right, I'm just gonna pause and uh, set the rest of that up and then we will start on the lips. All right, so my eyes are almost done, um, but I'm now going to move on to my lips. Now, as she says uh, in the TV show, the lip color she's wearing is the color of blood, which is music to my ears because I, um, as regular readers will know, I'm a huge fan of the red. Now, I'm gonna show you a little bit of a trick today. Um, if you want a really bright uh, red that lasts a really long time, what you should do is grab one of the really long lasting lipsticks, you know, the two part lipsticks, every major brand puts one out. Uh, this one is a Revlon one and it's one I've used for many years. This one is number 725, and it's a kind of a tomato color. You will find that with these, you don't get a really bright, vivid color. Um, the colors last forever and ever until you clean them off with a special cleaner, um, but they're not very bright. Um, so this one is pretty indicative. It's a really beautiful tomato color, um, but certainly not the amp we're looking for uh, with this look. But first of all, we'll put a layer of that down. Alright, so as you can see, that's quite a subtle uh, subtle look and not what we're going for with this one. Um, but with that layer down, when I lay a brighter colour over the top, it will last much, much longer. It won't last quite as long as um, just the long-lasting one when it's with its own top coat, but it will certainly add a few hours wear um, to the non-long-lasting colour that you're wearing. Um, for the top layer, I'm using a bourgeois um, lipstick. Um, this is called Sweet Kiss, and it's number 56. It comes in a really cute uh, slide package here. So the lipstick pops up, and as you can see, that is a really bright blood red. So let me lay that over the top. There we go, um, and there's those bright red lips. Now, depending on your skin tone, you're going to want to either go with a light scarlet or a darker red, but uh, you will know what's best for you. Um, so that is pretty much it. All I'm going to add now is some mascara, as soon as I find it. 
All right, as you can see, I did find my mascara. Um, I'm using this Fair Minerals um, mascara. It's a defining mascara rather than a volumizing mascara because I think that's more appropriate to this look. Um, she always was uh, one for subtlety. Um, I'm just going to do my eyebrows now. Um, I'm using a Lime Lily pencil and the color is uh, Coyote, which is great. So I'm just really laying a very light line down just to add a little bit of definition um, and to enhance my arch just a little bit. You can see the difference left to right. Eyebrow pencil makes such a difference to your looks. Um, if you're not using it, do start. I think people get scared off because uh, they don't want to uh, look comical um, if you put too much down. But if you use a light hand, you use really short strokes, um, you really can just correct any natural flaws that your natural eyebrows have um, and, and they really do open your eyes up um, and give you a, a much better look. So that's it, that's the face of the woman. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you'd like me to have a stab at anything else, do please drop me a comment and let me know uh, anything you've seen on the TV or in a movie or anywhere else. Uh, send me a picture uh, and I will whip up a tutorial for you. Uh, please do subscribe to the blog as well as the YouTube channel. Uh, the blog is www.fashionadjacent.com. Um, I'll pop the address on screen for you. Um, and if you have a look on the blog, uh, you will see all the links to the products I've used and more information, more reference shots, lots of goodies there for you. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.